Hello everybody! Good morning. It is 10 a.m. and my name is Eileen and I'm from Jane Nicole Designs. Good morning. It is so beautiful today. I know the sun is coming on my face. I'm like, okay, a little bit of ray of sunshine does not, um, it's not bad. <laughs> so, um, hope you guys are having a good morning this morning and that you are able to, um, Get your cup of coffee, hang out with me for a little while. We are going to be doing some painting today. I'm going to be revamping some kitchen items that I was like, you know what? I'm not recycling them. I'm going to see what I can do with them. And I uh, got my comfy, comfy clothes on today. I am, good morning, Joy. It's good to see you're watching. Um, I got my comfy clothes on. I am, I'm hoping not to leave the house today. Um, I may have to go out and get some milk, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but um, let me know what you're up to. Are you staying inside today? Are you out and about and um, going to brave the, the excitement of, of um, shopping or whatnot? Let me know. Are you off to work? And hopefully if you're catching this on the replay, um, did you make it through the day? And are you ready just to kind of sit back and hang out with me for a while? So. Um, we were going to get started already because uh, this project, I have a few things um, to what we're going to do today and I just want to make sure that, um, good morning Joy, uh, I just want to make sure that um, we get things going since we're going to be painting and uh, being able to uh, let things dry. But um, last week I told you, you know, I'm not a big huge, um, uh, what do you call it, a Valentine's uh, um, fan, so... Um, but then I decided, you know what, I'm not going to be with my hubby on Valentine's Day, but I'm going to give him a little bit of a surprise um, before then. So we're going to do um, some type of a little dinner or something. Um, he leaves for a business trip and won't be able to be there, but that is okay because we celebrate and um, are, are dating every week kind of thing. Um, it's the coolest thing. We have been married. Um, going on um, in April 28 years and he still treats me like we are engaged. He makes sure that I, um, you know, it, I'm not a gift getter kind of thing. Um, I, I would rather spend quality time and so we have made it a point in the last year just to go on dates and a date means that you don't have to go out and spend money but it is just hanging out with each other and um, quality time and you know, talking with each other and it doesn't even have to be about household or budget or whatever it is. It's just hanging out. So um, I encourage you, if you have a special someone that you can do that with, make a point to have a date each week. And you know, there's a lot of times we, um, we just think that, that um, you know, oh, we have kids and whatnot and it's just too hard to, but just even sitting on the couch is totally perfect and that's a date because you're spending time with each other. So that's my challenge for you. If you have a special someone, try that this week. Try it a half hour, sit on the couch. If the kids are running around, just have them go in their rooms or hang out and whatever and you guys just hang out for a while. So, okay, let's get started. We are going to be doing some painting and I'm going to paint first and then we're going to be doing a little sign and um, I'll show you about that. So the first thing we're going to be using, this is folk art and I'm sorry it's backwards, you know how I always say that, uh, crafter's nightmare, but uh, we're going to be painting this, um, this jar here. We're going to be painting that red with the folk art and then um, the folk art here, this is black chalk and we're going to be doing this one here. So um, I got these at Walmart and um, I, I think I got this one at Michael's and then this one I just picked up at Walmart. They had like 12 of them in the pack for like $6 and I was like, oh, that's my price. So uh, we're going to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do, we did a couple weeks ago, we did this... Um, oh for fork's sake and I chalk painted it white and then this is vinyl and then the bow We're gonna kind of do that same because I'm actually gonna have it first Valentine's and then turn it into um, Good morning, Amy. It's good to see you're watching. I'm gonna turn it into Valentine's just for a little bit so um, What I'm gonna do is I took um, Just some vinyl. Let me get it here. I have my I don't know if I've shown this very much, but this is my um this is my tray of fun things. Uh, my mom gave me this tray, and um, when I go live, I fill it full of all the things that I might be using. Good morning, Jeff. It's good to see you. 
um, I think of things that, oh, I might be using on a project and I throw them on this tray because it's super easy just to, okay, well, if I don't want anything on it, I can just unload it, but it's all right here so I'm not running around. Um, but what I did is I just took outdoor vinyl. This is just vinyl that um, I went to a vinyl uh, siding um, sign place and I said, hey, can I have your extra uh, vinyl? And um, they gave me a bunch. So if you have a, a, a place around where you're at and you wanna be able to see if you can get um, their extra vinyl, go ahead. I, I just went and asked and I said, I would love to pay you. And they were like, no, it's okay. And so I brought them donuts. Um, I think I've told you, if, if you playing on a replay, I've told you that before. But the cool thing is, is that um, it can be re reused in so many ways. So I'm gonna do just, I'm gonna do three fingers, just kind of make a little bit of consistency. And I'm just gonna put these vinyl hearts around the top here. Because I want the, um, I actually, I want the silver to shine through. So let's see if I do, yep, I can get one more. I'll split the difference. So I'll just kind of eyeball it in between here. And this is just a, um, a spaghetti can, I believe, of, of um, uh, tomatoes. And I was like, you know what? Instead of recycling it, I want to see what it, what I can do with it. So. That's me, I like to do that. So, and then I'm gonna go opposite here. I'm just gonna go right in the middle of each, each of these uh, hearts. So you could put stars on here. You could do um, anything. I mean, I loved the, the, um, the check. You could do that. Put little squares and just, just make it your own. But I am going to, after I'm done using this, I'm going to use it for spoons or something like that um, because I used to use um, the uh, mason jars and the mason jars uh, to put my, my furniture, or not furniture, my uh, forks, there we go. Starts with an F, huh? Um, anyway, I ended up putting them in those really cute mason jars and I'd put like, 10 or 12. Good morning, Renee. It's so good to see you're watching. Um, I would put like 10 or 12 in the, in the can or the, there you go, the uh, jar. And then they'd fall over and my guests would be embarrassed. And I was like, you know what? Forget that. I'm going to do these cans and make them a little bit more. I can even put um, something heavy on the bottom and be able to put it in there. So, okay. So this is a, this is just vinyl hearts. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna do some chalk paint here. And all I did was take the top from this. So I'm gonna use that as my um, my paint tray for right now. And I am just going to squeeze this on here. And we're gonna get a little, I may have to put a little bit more on there, but okay. So I chose for this one, I chose a flat, um, very thin, uh, soft brush, but it's pretty um, thick, so it's a little bit stiffer. So I want to make sure that my hearts are all the way down and that um, I will be picking these off, but want to make sure that when they, that they're actually straight and that they have, um, see, I'm going to use a different one. That one just is not looking right. I want to make sure that they're, you know, halfway, unless you want to to make sure that they're crooked but this one here I would love just to make sure that it's there we go okay so let's get started here come along with me <laughs> I think that's one of my new sayings now it's like you know this is a crafting journey and I thoroughly enjoy it and I hope that you do as well okay so that's what I'm doing and this almost looks like you took fire to it. Um, we will let this dry a little bit and then we'll put another coat on it. So it will be, um, see how it's getting a little bit darker. But I just wanna get a thin coat. You don't wanna put too much on this and then um, end up having it too uh, gooey. So I'm gonna put it on pretty thin. 
See how you can see a little bit on there? And then we will um, paint the, the top of the jar and then we'll go back and do another coat. All right, see how that is? It's just one little simple coat. And it is, because it is metal, it will take a little bit to dry because it's not a porous, like wood, it's not a porous um, surface. So that's, that's one, one coat. And if I want to, I might just shoot it right now a little bit with, this is my um, heat tool. I ditched my, um, my hair dryer for right now because it's so loud. I was rewatching the videos and I'm like, I am so sorry. <laughs> but this one heats up, so it gets hotter and it's not as loud. When you're coming on, let me know what you're up to today. Is it a stay in day or is it going out and doing a bunch of errands and whatnot? Going off to work already? I know 10 o'clock. I don't know. I'm, an, I'm, a, uh, I'm a later in the day kind of person. So I know some of you all have already been to work and almost ready to come home. But <laughs> I'm one of those people they know hey do you want to get together and I'm like yeah 10 o'clock <laughs> works for me so and that's okay I, I like to stay up later so okay so we're just gonna paint the top of the jar here same with that black see how it covers it covers it really well we may do two coats on this as well but I want to be able to paint this because I don't necessarily want to use this theme forever and so um i may be redesigning it later on so i want to make sure that that it's not completely just valentine's and i will show you what i'll do just to kind of keep it a little bit less valentiney but okay so that's the top and I'm just gonna put that, I have this little jar here. We're just gonna put it right on top. There we go. Let's make sure that we, my fingers got in the way. There we go. Okay, so now for the next thing that we're gonna be painting, let's make sure I, I'm gonna be using red, so I wanna make sure that my hands are completely Full, or off of that black stuff. I don't want anything on it. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do this glass jar. And this was like, I think spaghetti sauce or something like that. And what I did is I took, I don't know if you have some, but you're welcome to um, either Goo Gone to take off the label. I threw it in my dishwasher afterwards. So, um, and then after that, if you don't have Goo Gone or anything like that, I actually, um, I have essential oils. So I used lemon and lemon took off um, the majority of the uh, sticker and whatnot. Cause this one was one of those really clear stickers, not like the paper. So you wanna make sure that you get something that, you know, will take off the label without having too much residue on the, on the um, jar. So, Next time when you're thinking, oh yeah, I'm making spaghetti and I'm like, hmm, I could, what could I do with this? Let me know in the comments. What do you think would be a good um, project that you wouldn't normally, um, you'd normally just recycle your, your uh, jars for some reason. I mean, you can put this in your bathroom and you can put cotton balls in it or, you know, shorter ones. You can do Q-tips or little, you know, um, the face wash stuff. You, I mean, there's all different choices that you could be able to do that with. Okay, so I like this color, but it's, I like a more darker red. So I am just gonna go ahead, I might even just use a little bit of what I have here. And I'm gonna use my brush. This is the brush I'm going to use. So I'm just gonna actually just take a little bit off of that black. Cause I, I like the red, but I want it a little bit darker. And I'm gonna see, so you can see it there. I just want a tiny bit of black in it, just to almost give it like a, a burgundy, 
a burgundy color. So I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. I got this brush at Walmart. It's a super um, silky soft brush, and I wanted to do that because I want the um, I want the paint to go on without a bunch of streaks. Um, it, there can be, but I want it to be a little bit more flat. So for this one here, I want to be able to see what's inside. I'm gonna put either um, some candy or something like that in the inside, and so I want a peekaboo or I could put a light in it as well. I could do that. Um, but I, uh, what I did is I took and I took vinyl on my Cricut. There's my little Cricut. I love that little sign. Abby made that sign for me. It says mom. So cool. And I think she was like six and now she's 19. So, um, I just took vinyl outdoor vinyl, the same ones that I did with the hearts and I cut out, this is it's kisses and this is hugs, and I'm gonna put them on my jar so when you look through, you can peek through and see it. So I cut it out in vinyl, and then I just took, this is counter um, surface, kind of like um, what you would do on your cabinet so that it doesn't get scratched. Um, and all I did was just put this on, this is clear. And what I like about this one is, um, some of the other uh, transfer tape, it is super, uh, it's, well, it, it just doesn't ply very much. It's very stiff. And so I wanted to be able to apply this around the um, glass without worrying about um, it wrinkling and whatnot. So I wanted to make sure that my image went on there <clears throat> in a way that I can mold, <coughs> excuse me, to the, the curve. <coughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> the weather's changing. Um, I wanted to make sure that um, it would mold around the side. So <clears throat> let me get some coffee here. <clears throat> Good old coffee makes everything right. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna put it on here and I'm gonna just eyeball it and put it down. And I'm just gonna rub it with my hand. So that's what we're doing. I just wanna make sure that it just kinda Make sure that it all gets on there. There's no bubbles, thank goodness. I love about that transfer tape, um, using it that way, because when you pull it back, it is, it's amazing. See, all done. And um, I could use reuse that if I wanted to, but I am not. Okay, so I just got another piece of that counter cover. I don't even know what it's called. Let me know. Can you put it in the comments? What is this stuff called? I know it's counter... Yeah, that's all I know. Or cupboard, cupboard covering, I don't know. Today, the terminology escapes me. <laughs> so, all right, so we're gonna do that on that other one. Just make sure that it's all the way on there, there's no bubbles. And then peel on back. All right, there's a little piece I missed. Let me put that back on. There we go. Okay, so let's put it backwards so you can read it. There we go, that's kisses. And so here's the, the uh, hugs. I'm just gonna put it right on the back here. We'll try and mirror it, but you know what? It's crafted, so it doesn't have to be a completely, <laughs> completely there, but there we go. So here's the kiss one. We'll peel that back. Okay, and they're about, they're about okay. So, and we're off. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, um, just put my hand a little bit in there. Now we're gonna go for some painting. And I'm gonna go, we're gonna go side to side. See how that is? And there's a little bit of that black streak in there from the black and I am okay with that. So this is gonna be pretty quick. We don't wanna do a heavy, heavy coat because like, again, these, these are acrylic and um, they are pretty thick. And so we do not want it to be too heavy. Now I'm just gonna go up to right where that first little, um, little divot is 
because I don't know if I want it to go all the way up to the top because um, it may inhibit the, the, the top going on. Ooh, maybe I only need one because I kind of I kind of like that you can see through it a little bit. What do you guys think? Should I do two coats? See, that's the thing. Crafting journeys are so personal. I love it. Hmm. What do you think? And I'm not going to do the bottom. Um, I'll go around a little bit to the. But you don't want to scrape it on something, a surface, and then get that. Um, Get that paint on there. Um, you could seal this. I could seal this with a clear spray paint. That is that is okay too. I'm just checking here to see. Make sure it has enough coverage. And now I'm just going to set this off to the side. Let's see. Today is the big paint day, so... I'm going to put my stuff off to the side. Inevitably, I always end up making a huge mess. So I always have extra cleaning supplies right on hand. There we go. Okay. And if, if anything, every craft room needs baby wipes because they are so, so easy and so helpful when you're crafting. Okay. All right. Let's see where we're at on this one. It's a little bit tacky, which is okay. I'm, whoop, I'm going to put on another coat. Oh, this is looking awesome. This one is a little bit shiny. It's in, even though it's chalk paint, it is actually going on not matte. And I, I, I like this. I thought it was going to wish that it was matte, but this is actually chalkboard. So if I were to paint a piece of wood or if I were to paint, um, you know, uh, a non-metal surface, you could actually, if you wanted to, you could take a piece of chalk and write on this. But I'm imagining because of the the um, grooves and things like that, it would be kind of hard on this can. But so if you can see this, there's a little bit of, you can see in between some of the, the um, ridges on there. I actually want that to show through. I almost want it to look like you took a fire to it and kind of just torched the, the sides of it. Uh, we had in, in our old house, we had a wall where my husband took a, a blowtorch with his, well, um, with his friend. I'll, I'll tell you the story in a second, but um, they took a blowtorch to uh, one of um, the walls in our house. They put pine up and um, burned the wall with uh, wood and it was so beautiful. I. I was a little jealous because I went away for a, I think I went away either for the day or something like that. And sure enough, they did it. And I had no idea that they were ending up doing that. And I came home and there was this wall and it was, it was so beautiful. But um, I was like, wait a minute, I wanted to do the blowtorch, but that is okay. <laughs> it was an awesome, awesome surprise. Okay, so let me see if I can show you this. See how it looks like there's a little bit of, almost like it's distressed. And that's what I want it to look like. I want the, um, I want the tin to come through and make sure that um, you can see that. So let's do this one. We'll just make sure that this one here has quite a bit of lettering on it. And I just want that lettering to kind of go away because it's already dark color. And that is pretty much what we're gonna do to the top. That's, because I wanna be able, I don't wanna customize it too much. I want it to be able to um, morph into different holidays or a different occasion. So we're gonna put that down. See if I can do this without making a mess. There we go. Get my, <laughs> anyways. Okay, so let me know what you're up to for uh, Valentine's Day. Are you gonna be in and about and around and about, or are you gonna be home? Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I haven't decided. I'm, I'm thinking I might even invite a girlfriend over for, for uh, Valentine's Day. We'll see how it goes. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna let those um, three things dry. They're just kind of hanging out over here. And um, I wanted to show you what I was gonna end up putting with this um, kind of tablescape thing. That, that's where we're actually going for. And at Christmas time, two years, three years ago, I um, first, when I got into um, my t-shirt and design, Jane Nicole designs, I ended up um, making a bunch of signs for Christmas. And this was a board that I had done and I had made all the signs for my family and whatnot and I had these extra. And I was like, wait a minute, um, I think I have one of those in my stash out in the shed outside in the back. And so I um, went out there, found uh, this, and um, like I said, it's been seasoned for the last three, three or four years there. Um, and what I did is I just took, this is pine, and I took this, go ahead and screenshot this. Um, this is wood stain and I got it from, I believe Walmart. And it is a one coat, do you see that? One, you don't even have to keep going, it's awesome. And this one is barn red. So um, I put that on there and let it dry. And then what I did is I, excuse me right here, I took poly um, acrylic, this is from Minwax and I painted, this is a protectant and I painted it all over the front of it. So this is a little bit shiny um, and I did that so that it will um, take the, the vinyl that I'm using and when I used it before. And so after that coat there, you can put your vinyl on and then on top of the vinyl, you can actually do this and it will seal in your project. So if you uh, want to go outside and have something that's, um, you know, backyard front door kind of thing, and you know that it gets water on it, um, this is a great way to protect that. So make sure if you're going to be doing an outside sign, you know, some of the things like um, the waxes and things, you're, every six months you have to redo the wax. And I was like, I just want a one-stop shop kind of thing. And so um, I got that and started. So what I'm gonna do with this is, um, this is a 3M block, it's a little sander. And I wanna be able to have a little bit of, of um, wood kind of rustic-y looking. See how that's going? I just want it to have another little dimension in it. And I know it's kind of the rage, things are all distressed and whatnot. So let's just kind of go on the theme here. And this is a five by, I believe it's 18 inch board that I um, had. And it was a project board from the firewall. And um, I told my husband, don't throw it away, I wanna keep it. And all those extra pieces I did, um, I did signs with so I love being able to repurpose things that's you know you go to the Goodwill find something repurpose that and but when you do your own DIYs and you have it ooh, it's so much better you don't have to pay for it twice okay so I just wanted a little bit of, of um, distressing around the side there just to give it one more one more rustic um, element and let me clean up my spot because it always gets super see that always gets super I'm a cleaner I make a huge mess but I want to make sure that I don't end up with that on my um, painting projects and whatnot so like I was saying if you are what are you guys doing on um on Monday for Valentine's Day and the other thing is are you guys watching the Super Bowl on Sunday I think we are <laughs> I'm a Raider fan, so unfortunately they didn't last very long this, this year, but um, I think we will be doing some snacks and things like that for, um, for the Super Bowl this year. So we'll see, let me know in the comments what you're up to. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this backwards. Okay, so this is love, and um, I, I'm just gonna put it right down on my, uh, my project. It's white vinyl, and it's from, um, this is from, I believe, uh, swing it's s-w-i-n-g design and it is an outdoor vinyl so you can just put it right on there um, I don't use any sealer on this particular swing um, design has really high quality uh, vinyl and I don't feel like I have to um, seal it so um, we are just gonna put that down on the project and I'm gonna I want it to have a little bit of space at the bottom here and I did put my counter, my counter um, clear tape here on here. 
And I just want to make sure, this is one of those simple, simple projects, but it looks like a million bucks. So I'm, I'm totally okay with that. So go ahead and just take that backing off. And we're going to put it down. And this is kind of swirly, so I'm not going to be super worried about um, if it's absolutely straight. Some of the farmhouse um, fonts and things like that, and it's, you know, pretty, pretty block um, in making sure that, that you, you know, you can measure up each, each um, letter here and make sure that it's the same inches. But I think I just kind of want this a free flowing um, and not, not making sure that it is absolutely straight. Okay, so let's turn this this way so you can see it. So that's how it is. We're just going to put it on there. I make sure that I have all the bubbles out of it. And then go ahead and pull on back. And this vinyl is not super shiny. It's a little matte um, in finish. So I just want to peel it off, make sure. I'm actually going to put that over here. I have a, a little place where I put all my, my vinyl that I'm, um, or the counter stuff so I can reuse it. And so there we go. Yay. Okay, so that's the first part. Now I'm going to decide... I want to, um, I'm going to decide, I want to do a little bit of greenery. So let's make sure we can see here. Um, and I'm going to put a bow on it. So I like the idea of a, just a little bit of eucalyptus. And um, I'm these ones here, I got in a bouquet. And um, I love the bouquets because I can rip them all, all apart and use the leaves for several different projects and things like that. Ooh, Joey, you've been making a Valentine's card. Oh, I had, oh, um, yes, remind me, I, before, I have, I have something to show you guys. <laughs> um, yes, I made, uh, oh, here it is. I made tags right here. It says, no, you are loved. And I made them for a girlfriend. She is actually giving out roses and she's gonna tie those around the roses and give them to all of her friends. And she's like, Eileen, would you, would you make those for me? And I'm, I would love to make you those. And um, she's coming and picking them up today. And so, yeah, that's about the extent of my Valentine's. I didn't really do a bunch of Valentine's stuff, but um, like I said, I was gonna do Easter today, and then I'm like, no, it's so close. So let's just, let's just go and do that. So I'm just gonna put a one or two little. Let's look at the other here. Looks like I want a little bit smaller one. And when we do things like this, um, I always do in, in lots of three. It's more pleasing to the eye to have an odd number of things. And so, like I said, we'll just do something like that, just to give it a little bit of a, a, a spunk. You could, there's a, the one thing, oops, one thing about this that is really cool. This sign could go just flat like this, sitting on a counter. It can go up like this. So you can decide, that's what I love about these um, boards. You can decide what you want to do with them. And I think for, for uh, mine, I'm going to have it actually going long ways. And so uh, when I put this on here, my bow is going to fit so that it. It can go either like free flowing on a table. Um, you could do that. And then um, we'll be able to, you know, kind of retro it into um, other things. So let's do this. This is the bow I picked. Isn't that fun? Um, this is, oh, let's see. I got this at Michael's. I don't know about you where you're at, but Michael's is always having you know, this, that, ribbon sale, whatever. But because of the holidays and all the, the shipping, whatever, how all that ended up, right now, Michaels has these for 70% off. And so I went down and I bought the white and I bought the red 
and they still have Christmas stuff. And unfortunately, you know, um, go down there and support them in that way because the poor people, you know, store didn't, didn't get all their Christmas stuff when they were supposed to, but now they are and it's a, you know, big savings for us. But um, unfortunately, yes, 70% off is quite, quite a huge hit on the, um, on the uh, scale there. So um, our gain, which is okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do a really simple bow for this. And the, the cool thing about this, you don't have to be a florist to, to do the bows, that I, the, the one that I'm gonna do today. All you're gonna do is take a piece, and this is double-sided, so you don't have to worry about you know turning or anything like that. But I'm just gonna make about six pieces, and it'll be about five inches long, and about, three and a half inches long, and then I'm gonna make a couple of them that are a little bit longer than that. And we're just, we're just gonna layer them on top of each other. Cause sometimes, you know, I know we see projects and whatnot and it's like, oh, I can't do that. And you know what? I wanna make it as easy as possible. And you know, to learn a few techniques and tricks and things like that is awesome. But there's just some times where I'm like, you know what, let's just let's just do it a little bit easier. So what I'm gonna do is dovetail each end. So I'm just gonna fold that in the middle, give it a diagonal cut there down to the edge. And that is one of the layers. So let's do that to each one. And I know probably afterwards I could do this, but I actually wanna look at it and make sure that it's really crisp. Because sometimes when you put these together and you do the dovetail afterwards, the um, the sides are not that, you know, they're not symmetry kind of the same. And I wanna make sure that, that um, each of these dovetails are, are pretty accurate. And it's much easier way easier to do it with when they're not together. Okay, so that's what we do. We just cut diagonal, diagonal on each, and there's our dovetail. So this is the shortest one. I'm gonna put this one on last, and I'm just gonna layer them in order of their length. The longer ones going underneath, obviously the shorter ones on top. There we go. Okay, so now they're just layered on top of each other. If you wanted to, you can crisscross them like an X. You're welcome to do that, but I'm just going to leave them the way they are. And then I'm gonna scrunch, scrunch them just like that. Okay, and then all I'm gonna do is take a piece of the, the ribbon. You could do a coordinating ribbon, you could do a string. I could see this with, um, oops, I'm a lefty. Had to learn to cut right-handed because all of our scissors are for righties. There we go. So I'm just gonna take out the the um, the wire in there. So be careful, you don't wanna poke yourself and start to bleed. There we go. So I'm just gonna start that on the front there. It's just gonna stay right there. And I've got my handy dandy, my favorite, you know all I love, my glue gun. I'm gonna put a little glue in between each of the folds so it kind of stays already folded. And then I'm gonna take a bamboo skewer for kebabs because I always burn myself. And I'm gonna trim this a little bit. There we go. There we go. And I don't want it too tight because I do want to be able to move things around. But do you see how it's it's just raw? You can see the edges of what I cut. We'll take the big pieces off and then we'll just start squishing it together. Okay, so this is the front front of your bow. There we go. 
Okay, so now I'm going to start moving it around. And if I want to, I can take each of the sides and I can move them out from each other. I can bend the, uh, the wire. And it almost looks like a flower. I mean, it's definitely um, not your, your big round loop floral bow. And I like that. Sometimes it's got to be, you know, it's fun just to be a little bit different. There we go. So look how easy that is. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, five little pieces, cut them at a dovetail, move them out, and then you're done. I just love it. It's super cool. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna try and do this upside down, but do you see how that is? Super cute. Okay, so I wanna use my, uh, my ribbon to, to do the tail. And I like to do the tail separately because I want to make sure I can put this um, in a way that I don't, um, that I don't lose a lot of my, my extra um, ribbon. I'm all about saving things and making sure that um, I get the best bang for my buck. There we go. So I just want a super simple bow. Just like that. How easy is that? Super, super cool. If I wanted to, I could have done like a big, huge one. But then like I said, I wanted to customize it and make sure that um, where, where I wanted that to be, you could also just bring it down here and you could just put that down like that. I mean, that's really cute too. So maybe I might do that as well. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of decide where I'm gonna put my, um, my greenery. So if I wanted to do something like that, I'm just thinking this is huge. So I'm gonna, actually go back to um, and make a smaller one. There we go. Because I don't know if I really want all that fluffiness. What do you guys think? I, you know what, these are huge. I don't think I want that. I want, I think I'm gonna say less is best. And thankfully I got extra ones out here. And, oops, wrong thing. Let's use the right tool for the right job. There we go. There we go. Okay. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put down the ribbon. Make sure we can see that. And let me know, have you made one of these signs before? I'd love to see and, and um, hear what, what types and signs and if they're from the holidays or if they're something that's just, just for you. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. The cool part about that, I can just set it right on top with some glue. And I'm going to do a little bit just in case. I'm going to move this around where I'd really like them. Just in case if that glue hits any of this ribbon and then I can't move it around. I've, I've, learned, I've learned that before of not fluffing it out where I want it and then I put it down and then the glue sticks to whatever and I end up, end up with something I don't want. So I'm just gonna set that there. Let's let this set up for just a second. I wanna make sure that this glue, there we go, doesn't hinder me putting on the eucalyptus here. So I'm just gonna shove it in that big glue that I just put down. And the eucalyptus leaves are, you can move them all over the place. So I'm just gonna start moving them to where I want. So if I wanted to, I can use this, um, 
either way, I can use it as something that's gonna sit sideways horizontal on my table, which I think that's what's gonna do for the first time. Or I can use it, um, I can use it as a door hanger. So I'm gonna move these so they have a little bit more dimension that it sticks up. There we go. So see that, that's super easy. And so if I wanted to, I can, let me scoot back a little bit. I could just sit it like this and that would be beautiful on your tablescape. Or this is actually how I saw it the first time. It was up and down. And um, what I do, if I wanted to hang it long ways like that, I have, these are uh, hangers that I got at the hardware store. I think I got them at Ace Hardware. And um, you can just go ahead. They already come with little, uh, little finishing nails and you could put that right in the back there and you could hang it um, that way. I could also see if you would to take either some jute or twine and put some, um, you could even paint white beads and hang it from that. There's multiple ways that you can do this. So, all right, so this is kind of the, the quick, I mean, it would probably, after you stain it, it would probably take you 20 minutes to a half an hour to do something like this, but, isn't that beautiful and enjoying the process of um, creating? I think that this is awesome. Um, okay, so this is this is going to be our our kind of like our our centerpiece to what's going on. So I'm going to set that right here, so we can see where we're going. Put it off this way. I know I'm I'm a I'm a photography girl, so um, I take family photos and and. Um, my favorite is um, landscape and so here I am I'm like okay how does it yeah can you see it is it good <laughs> that is the photographer in me okay so this is the top I did two coats of chalk paint it's pretty pretty tacky but it's you know it's it's okay because I'm not gonna be um, cranking on it or anything like that right now so um, then the next thing we did, and it looks like one coat is gonna be just suffice. So we put this on here. Hold on here, I got a little piece that I wanna take off. Um, we just put one coat of uh, folk art. And this is red, this is cardinal crimson. And then we put a little tiny bit of chalk paint in it. This is folk art as well. And then I just put one coat and um, you know, I could, I'm going to let this dry. I won't touch this quite a bit for a while, but I'm just going to let it dry for, you know, a few hours. Uh, you know me, I'm the McDonald's. Hurry up, get it done quick. But today's project, this is one of those where, okay, I probably should wait and not uh, crank a bunch of hot heat on it. And I don't want to break the glass. So let's, let's do that. But um, in the beginning, I took vinyl and I cut it out in a heart that says kisses and hugs. And um, then I just painted over it. And let me get my, this is the Cricut weeding tool. I'm going to take and just on that vinyl, I'm going to start pulling it up. So when you um, do vinyl like this, there we go. Just make sure that you pull back at like a 45 degree angle and um, then it should come up pretty good just be careful if you were to do like just one big huge heart and that was okay um, you know I would rip this off pretty quick but um, I want to make sure that this is um, has some swirlies and things like that in it I want to make sure that when I pull back it doesn't pull more of the glue or the uh, paint so I'm going to take it a little bit slow on this and the other thing too is that um, when you use this this is outdoor vinyl so um, I think that that is the best thing to use and, and um, the outdoor vinyl sticks pretty pretty well and um, it is actually, it's almost like thinner. It's more pliable. So if you're gonna be doing a, um, 
a uh, intricate detail, I think this is the way to go. And I think this is like three millimeter. It's pretty, it's pretty thin. If you can see it, it it's pretty pliable. But the cool thing is, is that um, when you take it, take off the uh, vinyl, uh, you can do pretty uh, intricate detailing. So it may take a minute, but it's well, well worth it. I had a, I was with a, a girlfriend yesterday and she's like, I don't know if I like weeding uh, vinyl. And I'm like, if that is one thing about vinyl, if, if you don't like weeding, um, vinyl might not be, <laughs> might not be the good thing for you. But I do, I enjoy, not that I enjoy picking things, but it is very satisfying to watch a image come from, um, you know, getting rid of all the, the, um, negative of, a, of a vinyl. So I have a few more pieces on this side. And I could see this one really, um, too, at Christmas time. You know what? What a great gift for your mom for Mother's Day. Mother's Day's coming up. You could put a candle in it. You could fill this with candy, or you could fill it with love notes to um, your mom or dad, you know, Father's Day. Sometimes it's hard for those fathers. I, it, it, what do you get them kind of thing? And for me, I am more of a personalized gift type of person. I love getting handmade or I love giving uh, handmade stuff. So that's just me. But how easy is this? A, a spaghetti jar and some paint and um, a whole lot of love. <laughs> All right. Let's, oh, I gotta use my tool because it looks like there's a little piece that is still wet and I don't want to take off the paint on it. There we go. And I would say um, you want to make sure that you don't leave this on too long because the um, adhesive underneath can get quite gummy. It is quite sticky. So do make sure that, you know, it, it's on there for a little bit, but make sure that you take it off pretty quick. All right, I think I got three more pieces left. Hang in there. <laughs> and this would be really fun to do for um, your pets and put treats and customize your the pet jars. Isn't that awesome? So I could put a tea light in here and the, the light would show through. I think that would be awesome. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put like a clear spray paint on this because I wanna make sure that I don't scratch off the, um, the paint that is already on here. But I just wanna show you the magic of a spaghetti jar and a little bit of paint. Isn't that awesome? I think that's a great idea to be able to, you know, cause you go, go to the store and you know, Michael's and things like that. And you find some of these things and they're like nine 99 and it's like, ah, oh, you can break the bank on that if you keep going. So I think this is a great idea. So I'm going to actually fill this with candy and then let's go on to this was our um, can and I guess it's still got, almost looks like it still has spaghetti in it, but I did wash it and put it through the dishwasher. But we did take the, um, the little hearts here in vinyl and I'm gonna take off those. And they're easier to go. They're, they're a little bit easier to take, take off. But I wanted to show you and this is still a little bit tacky as well. And I just wanna pull it so that when you take off 
the sticker that it doesn't pull the paint away as well. You see that? If, if you want to, you can go ahead and you can touch up some of that. But let's see if I can do it without. That's the challenge, to do it without pulling any of that extra off. And I could see this, I think it would be beautiful in chalk paint and um, these at a wedding. Oh goodness, um, maybe a baby shower with um, little feet on the top of it. I think it would be really fun to do that. And like I said, just make sure that when you put the vinyl down originally that you push it down so that the, um, the lines are crisp. See that? There we go. I think I got them all the way around there. And the other thing too is if, even if you want to, that'd be really fun to distress this and then let um, the silver sparkly, you know, kind of shine through. So, um, you, you know, it's up to you. That's the cool thing about crafting. You don't have to worry about, oh, is this... I don't worry about, oh, is this look store-bought? Because I really don't want it to look store-bought. I want it to look like, yes, I did craft this. Not that I want it sloppy. I just want to make, make it um, my own design. Okay, it looks like I got two more left. There we go. And I will go back... Um, and put, I'll touch up some of the black here, and then I will put a clear uh, spray. Usually I use Rust-Oleum or Krylon. Um, you can use the, um, the uh, polyurethane, the, I'll show you this. This is um, what I would do the sign with, and just make sure that, that you're in a well-ventilated area so you don't get um, too over, overdone in that. But okay, so here's my can. And last thing I'm gonna do is I, I'm making a tablescape, so I wanna make sure that that's there. So all I did, this is the blocks you can get at the dollar store. I just took um, my scissors and I just pound a couple of holes in it and then I just busted it off. This is almost like, it's a foam, but not, I mean, it's pretty crispy. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And then I have these uh, flowers that I think will go quite well with with the sign. And I'm just gonna leave this because I want to make sure I don't want to I don't want to um, glue it in there. But I'm gonna put these in here, and we're gonna do a little tablescape. And go ahead, make sure one's higher than the other. That's the floral thing. Here we go. And I will. Make sure that these are um, balanced out. Let's see if I can get it. So I'm not a florist, but I do like to arrange things. Okay, so that looks good. And if I wanted to, to keep my thing going, I am gonna add do this one. This one's a little bit taller. If I wanted to make this permanent, I would put hot glue on it. Make sure that it's um, that it's it's coming out where it needs to be. But this is only going to be a one one time and done kind of thing, so I don't want to make it permanent. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tuck it in where um, where I think would be a good place. Okay. All right. So let's put this all together. I'm super excited. I love it when you can do one project at a, at a time and it's all one and done. If I wanted to, I could take, where is my, yep, there it is. I could take my ribbon and I'm just going to tie a regular bow and that's all I'm going to do. One loop here and I go up over the top and see my, my, my fingers here? I'm gonna just put it up on top of my fingers and pull it. 
And then I'm just gonna make a little simple, little simple bow. This is also how you can save on, um, on ribbon. All right, we're gonna dovetail it. Oh, let's go on the type where we're not. That one there, I think has seen too many wires and, and glue guns. <laughs> so it doesn't cut that great. There we go. Okay, so I can actually just come in here. There's that, that kind of like spot there. And I'm actually just gonna set it right in in the uh, the middle of that, and it'll just hang on that piece. See how easy that is? Just a little. Oh, fell out. Hold on. Let's get this right. There we go. Okay. So there is our center. Let's let's put this all together. All right, here's our can. We took the uh, vinyl and we put the little hearts on it and painted it black. And we're also gonna use, this is our, our board here that we, sign that we made. Put that off to the side. I might even just put it up on this so we can see it. There we go. And then last but not least, here's our kisses. All I did was just put some vinyl on it, painted it, painted the top black and now we have a little tablescape so that I can put um, a little bit of of love and joy before my husband leaves on his business trip um, before Valentine's Day and do a little bit of fun so um, let me know if you have uh, your ideas for um, for Valentine's Day are you gonna be in or out the other thing is too I would love to find out are you watching the Super Bowl on Sunday is that something that um, that you're excited to see the bangles and um see if that works who knows maybe um but uh let me know if that's uh, something that you're into i do go back and read the comments i love being able to interact and that's one of the reasons why i am on facebook live is relationship being able to hang out with you all and um, encourage each other on our crafting journey and then most of all just be able to um create and um, I don't know about you, that is one of my, my giftings. I love to be able to take something and turn it into, you know, something beautiful. So um, if you like more of this, go ahead. And if you're watching on the, the replay, go hashtag replay. And um, if you want to do a marathon, I do have um, now putting my videos up on YouTube. So you can follow me on Facebook at Jane Nicole Designs. I have an Etsy shop that some of this, um, my beautiful creations are in and um, you can be able to hang out with me um, every Wednesday at 10 a.m. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Have a great day.